Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we have two honorable guests who have crossed continents or countries, if you will, to come to the Holy Land of Imam Hussein alayhi salam to establish conferences. And if one to compare with conferences across the globe, we find that one of the, import, one of the most important concepts within a conference is having a strong belief that a certain thing might be successful. However, the conferences established by these two individuals revolve around something very important, which resembles the sacrifice, the peace, and the coexistence emanated from the sacrifice of Imam al Hussein in Karbala. I have with me uh, Agha Sultan and his son Zakaria. Welcome both. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, your visit to Karbala. I know it's uh, as Imam Sadiq puts it, it's um, paradise on earth. Definitely. And, and yes. where else would you want to be other than uh, Karbala? Now, uh, Agha Sultan is an educational and uh, social activist, uh, consulting engineer, and a former member of the syndicate of uh, Bangalore University uh, in India. And his son uh, is also, inshallah, in the future to become a doctor and a representative of who is Hussein. Uh, from India. Now I'll begin with the father and then we'll go to the son uh, if you guys will. Um, today I want to, to, to discuss uh, something revolving around uh, the peace and coexistence uh, that that are extracted, the lessons that are extracted uh, from the tragedy of Muhsin or the selfless sacrifice of Imam al Hussein on the day of Ashura. If you can briefly tell me about that. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Indeed, I'm glad to be sitting here with you. And Likewise. as you rightly said, Karbala is a piece of Jannat. Yes. It's a piece of paradise. Mm -hmm. There is real peace around here and I can feel it in my body. I have come here with many doctors and engineers, mm -hmm. mostly non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. All of them who have come with me here, they said to me one thing, there is something in the air here. There is something different here. Yes. And they say in my body, I get vibrations of some divine spirit falling on them. This is Karbala. And now, Imam Hussain what you see in this world today, destruction of humanity. Yes. Which religion has taught to kill the other on religion basis? Yes. It's my open challenge to anybody. My challenge to the ISIS, the Daesh. They are spoiling the name of Islam. They have nothing to do with Islam. Islam means peace. Rasul Khuda sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Islam that he delivered through Quran to the people is indeed one of the most refined religion mm -hmm. that ever existed and it will exist till the resurrection of Imam Mahdi salam. Now, do you think people around the globe, uh, especially in the Indian culture that you live in and in, India, uh, you know, in India uh, specifically, um, do they accept the sacrifice of Imam al Hussein? Uh, the way that we accept it, do, do they, is there any you know, uh, conflict or do they accept it in the idea that Imam Hussein sacrificed himself for humanity, not only you know, for a specific uh, group of Muslims or Muslims in general? I come from a country called Hindustan, mm -hmm. Al Hind. It is the second largest democracy in the world. And believe me, the Indian government is so good and mm -hmm. so cooperative, so helpful. During the 10th of Muharram, it has declared a holiday. It's a national holiday on Ashura. Wow. The procession on the busy streets of most of the cities in India, they give procession to block the traffic. Hours together. And our Hindu brothers join us in the procession. Wow. The Christians, they wholeheartedly support Imam Hussein's sacrifice because they know what was truth. 
what happened on that day majority of them know but unfortunately the media yes like media doesn't show the arbain in karbala anywhere the international media except yeah. for your arab media i don't see that 28 million 30 million more than that people converging on arbain yes is not shown it's it's unfortunate All right that's perfect um now to you zakaria yeah. um as as a youth i know your father's pretty young as well uh but as as a youth how do you find the youth accepting the sacrifice of umar sanaa islam of course uh, as as people grow older they tend to mature and and you know find aspects that they didn't find of interest during their you know young age yeah. you know tend to find it interesting in when 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 they grow old but how are the youth uh in your perspective accepting the sacrifice of Muhammad Hussain Islam firstly i'd like to begin with greeting the viewers of Islam uh, Imam Hussain 3 TV yes. assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah as a youth the question arises what is our responsibility in today's world mm -hmm. where the world is engulfed with islamophobia there's a lot of darkness spread there are a lot of racial abuses no what do we do people don't want to know about islam yes so in this world of current scenario our responsibility is to tell out to the people the real principles of the tragedy of karbala with this i'd like to speak about a global movement with the name who is hussain yes who is hussain is an international organization which began in the year 2012 mm -hmm. in london and in a span of 3 4 years we have spread across five continents the sure. basic principle of the organization is to let the non muslims know about the tragedy of karbala and how imam hussain sacrificed his self stand in the in the land of karbala inspired millions across the world mm -hmm. So what we do is we visit orphanages, we visit the homeless, we feed the needy, we do blanket drives, blood donation camps, me medical camps to non-Muslims. When they ask you why are you doing this, we say to them that this is what Imam Hussein has inspired us. Wow. Imam Hussein has inspired to help the needy irrespective of the caste and creed. So Imam Hussein also inspires us to resist oppression of all forms. That's amazing. So this is a youth movement which is spread across worldwide, and we're doing a tremendous job. And every year we're getting volunteers. who want to be a part of the movement so mm -hmm. i feel i think this is the responsibility of the youth to reach out to people in a mm -hmm. positive way not making overtly religious but in a very practical way where imam hussein has taught us to help the needy and mm -hmm. protect the vulnerable across the world mm -hmm. now in your field of work i know you uh, you mentioned that, that you know you have you have uh, who was hussein you representing them in mm -hmm. uh, in india um how is the indian population accepting this yes India is one country under the banner who is Hussain mm -hmm. and I'm glad to inform you that in India we are 30 cities functioning right now under the wow. banner of who is Hussain so out of how many cities thought out of 28 states and there are 30 cities and we're just expanding day and day uh -huh. so we have Bangalore Delhi Mumbai Kolkata Kashmir so mm -hmm. these are the major cities who are doing yeah. great work even in Delhi so what we do is we do humanitarian work and we are getting tremendous response we do water bottle drive we, yes. we go to the public places we give them a free water bottle water is a basic necessity and and water was deprived to imam hussain and the llb yes. so we give a message by spreading which is distributing water bottle with a flyer with the message yeah. of imam hussain and we have a, a website called whohussain.org mm -hmm. so we have tremendous acceptance and people even non muslims christians especially want to you know watch with us and want to work on this platform together mm -hmm. and alhamdulillah inshallah next month we're going to have a conference with christians and shia muslims together we're going to spread peace uh, with with the principle of imam hussein hopefully inshallah inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. now going back to the father so we kind of have it like yeah. like father like son uh, it's 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 amazing to see that now um I know you've established um, or initiated, if you will, uh, a conference in Karbala revolving around this topic, peace and coexistence. Now, what is your role into this? How does Imam Hussein alayhi salam influence you, and in what way? Yeah. I mean, during my last visit here. Mm -hmm. that's How long ago was this? It's in Arbaeen. Mm -hmm. I requested His Eminence, Sheikh Mahdi Al Karbalai, mm -hmm. to. and Mr my friend Mr Sayyid Saad bin Al Banna mm -hmm. I told them the concept of inviting Sunni scholars and uh, Christian scholars and the international media department of uh, Imam Hussain Holy Shrine mm -hmm. uh, okay this Sheikh mm -hmm. Malik Karbalai gave his consent that's how it started and why see the international media is portraying this fight as Shia Sunni Yes. Actually, it is not. It is not a Shia Sunni fight at all. It is never Shia Sunni. 
See, the concept of the press is to divide the Muslims. That's their agenda. So the Muslims should not become victim of the conspiracies of the international, of course. The Western, of whatever course. forces in fighting with each other. Our book is same, Holy Quran. Yes. We pray the same direction, Holy Kaaba. They pray for eight times. We also pray, pray five times. Where is the difference? There is no difference. At least we can come on the platform on this issue. That's the reason why this conference, we in India, the press in India, my friends in India, my, my friends from uh, Ahl Sunnah, always just talking why the Sunnis are getting killed by the Shias here. And my Christian friends, why our Christian churches are getting uh, demolished. They, the press is putting the blame on the Shias. Yeah. So I wanted that misconception to be erased. How can I do in a little way? And it's vice versa. The media says Sunnis are doing this, the Shias, and uh, whatever. It goes both ways. Yeah. It goes both ways. That way. Yeah. So in reality, in reality, yeah. in reality, the Sunnis, the Christians, and the Shias are together. Hashrat al Shabi are together, and I have met the Christian commander, Sunni commander, and the Shia commander last year when I came with the media yeah. group. So they are all the three and other religions. The entire Iraqi people are joined together to fight the monster ISIS. I wanted to show that, number one. Number two, Ahle Sunnat, we met Ahle Sunnat Mufti Alam mm -hmm. in Baghdad. Such a wonderful man he is. He said, we are all united. We went to the Christian church, Kanisa, in Baghdad, mm -hmm. Lady Marjan Veri Church. Mm -hmm. They said, we are all united. So the Christian fathers were come in the delegation. The Ahle Sunnat scholars were come in our delegation, and four journalists were come in the delegation. Total ten of them have seen something which they were the media shocked. Does, does not show. Yeah. Now these journalists and these delegation are going to go back to India and going to tell in their own way yeah. that this is not a fight between Shia, Sunni, mm -hmm. and Christian. It is a fight against monster ISIS, monster Daesh. And, and every, every year yeah. uh, we see, uh, I would like you, Zakir, to comment on this, is that every year in, in Muharram, in 10th of Muharram, yes. we have the Raqqa the, Tuarij, the, the, the march, the, va the very famous march of Tuarij, where people begin from Tuarij to Allah Hussain Alayhi Salaam, and with Abdul Fadl Abbas, they, there's Christians in that, there's yes. Jewish, there's Sunnis, everybody gathers together. It's somehow, it's, it's amazing to see how Allah Hussain Alayhi Salaam yes. is a magnet to you know, every race, every nationality, uh, every sect, every religion, it's 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 amazing to see how uh, everyone comes together in this land. In Arba'in, we see Christians serving, we see you know Hindus serving, but you know from different races, different religions. You know they want to learn who really Imam Hussein alayhi salam was. Yes. Now, the same question that I asked your father: How does Imam Hussein alayhi salam influence you, and what was your role? into uh, this initiative. Yes. Speaking the word of truth on mm -hmm. the face of the tyrant mm -hmm. is the greatest deed. And mm -hmm. that's what Imam Hussein has yes. taught all of us. Yes. And in the world of scenarios and, and oppression, this is what Imam Hussein has taught us. Never stay quiet when a particular community, irrespective of the caste and creed, is being oppressed. Yeah. We have to be the voice of humanity, not only about our religion. So coming from a place of India, you must be knowing India was ruled by British for centuries. Yeah. And the father of a nation, Mahatma Gandhiji, has told this that, I quote what he said, I learned to achieve victory whilst being oppressed yeah. from Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Amazing. So the reason of India's independence goes to Imam Hussein. And this is recorded in history. That's amazing. And there are a lot of people who have been inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, like Sir uh, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who have directly or indirectly been inspired by Imam Hussein. And Imam Hussein inspires us to show love and compassion because Imam Hussein was a man of love and compassion. Mm -hmm. So Imam Hussein unites all of us. He helps us to help the needy. He, he expects us to help people who are vulnerable mm -hmm. and also to, to help reach out to people who are, not, who are not having a voice. He expects us to be the voice of the oppressed. And this is how Imam Hussein has inspired a youth like me. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's amazing. I mean, uh, just to comment on your point, yeah. We have, you know, on the day of Ashura, we have Christians 
fighting alongside Hussein Ali Islam. We have people from Africa, John, yeah. who was fighting alongside Hussein. We have people who were actually the enemies. Hur was an enemy to yes. Hussein, yet he still switched sides yeah, and sure. came to Hussein Ali Islam for his aid. You know, we have children from very young up until we have, you know, Habib bin Mubahar was over 90 years old. Even Shuhdai Karbala, we yeah. had a lot of people from outside uh, Islam community. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had Christians, we, we had, had Jews. Jews. Yeah, everybody. Yes. Subhanallah, I, I, I keep on repeating this. It's like a magnet to Hassan Ali Salam. Any final comments that you would like to and, comment? Yes. And you don't need to be a Muslim to love Imam Hussein. You of need course. to be a human. Of course. Because he stood up for humanity. Yeah. And that's what I want to of say. Of course, yeah. of course. Any last comments? Imam Hussein Ali Salam is not the property of the Shias only. Mm -hmm. Imam Hussein Ali Salam is a person, the universal person. Mm -hmm. You said magnet. I would say magnet word is more or less. Oh. He is the nucleus, nucleus of all the activities around the world. He is the nucleus Everything of humanity. Around it, yeah. Okay. But for him, but for Imam Hussein's sacrifice, but for the role played by two persons, Imam Bibi Zainab, yes. Salam alayha, and Imam Zainal Islam. Islam would have been wiped off. Islam would have been wiped off. You would have had the uh, Islam which as he preached. Yeah. So apart from Islam, he gave us a lesson, as he rightly said, Zakaria, as he rightly said, he gave us all a lesson of how to live. So my thing is my request to the entire world is stop this bloodshed stop this sectarian politics hopefully it's not. and to the media please write the truth mm -hmm. please save the world innocents are homeless lakhs and lakhs of people are homeless yeah. lakhs of people have died in the name of religion religion is a matter of faith keep it in your house Follow your faith. Your faith is supreme. My faith is supreme. But when you come out, be a human being. Be a good human being. Of course. Be a human being where you help each and every individual. Help even your, you know, your neighbor, your even your enemy. Mm -hmm. Even your enemy. If he seeks help and you feel, do it. Help him and he'll mm -hmm. become your friend. You know, yeah. you help somebody who is your enemy, he'll become your friend. He'll say, yes, this is my religion, this is Imam Hussain Islam mm -hmm. has taught me to help you in any way. Amazing. Do good, be good. Yeah, be good. That's it. And hopefully you know we can, nothing else. Hopefully yeah. we yeah. can yeah. learn uh, from, from that message. Um, but Zakaria, yeah. any last words? Yes, uh, I think the only solution to the current world scenario is, you know, we all know the world is engulfed in darkness and yes. Imam Hussain's principles is that silver lining. And we need to reach out to people as a youth that's what my father has been doing for decades now. He gets a delegation journalist and, and telling the, the world the truth. And as an individual, being a part of this international organization, who is Hussein, there are a lot of volunteers working uh, for this cause. And this is what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. We reach out to people in the most positive way. And not only restricting our services to our community, there are a lot of people outside our community who are uh, you know, suppressed who are oppressed in, in the worst forms. So we reach out to them. We do something called blanket drive. There are a lot of homeless sleeping on the road. We quietly go and we just put a blanket on them. Wow. We don't do this for publicity. When the person wakes up in the morning, he finds a blanket over him. Wow. And this is what we do. We don't do it for our fame. Our names are not mentioned. We are mentioned as the Who's Hussein volunteers. So we are spread across. So I, I request all the viewers to join this movement. And mm. Alhamdulillah, we have been expanding tremendously and mm -hmm. a lot of cities are enrolling in mm -hmm. and this is what as a as a youth today this is what i, I can do and we've mm -hmm. been doing hopefully I we have can one continue. last word yes oh, incidentally we have yearly one uh, function mm -hmm. interreligious function in bangalore called hussein day mm -hmm. i do it just after Muharram. on that day i call every religious scholar hindu muslim sikh Christian, Sunni Shia, call them and it's a huge gathering, mm -hmm. the press covers it and each time we have a subject, as you rightly said, it's Imam Hussain embodiment of peace, Imam Hussain uh, save the principles of humanity, mm -hmm. Imam Hussain truth and justice and it's become a very famous program, yes. Hussain Day. Now, to the press, 
please don't link Islam to terrorism. That's please. a huge problem. Yeah. Please, ISIS is a monster. It will die its own death very soon. Because okay. God is watching. Hopefully. And we have faith in Allah and Ahl Bayt. Hopefully. And we have faith. I mean, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Imam Zamana. They are all watching. Definitely. They are watching. They are helping us. Definitely. So it's going to get wiped off. Inshallah. So we let's pray that the entire world, including Iraq at the moment, Syria, whatever, entire world should be in peace. Hopefully. This is our dream. Hopefully. And also, I'd like world. to mention, Hopefully. we have expanded our services to Iraq. Yes. Last Ramadan, we did a campaign with the name hashtag, it starts with you. We yes. initiated an online crowdfunding campaign with the name Give Life. Mm -hmm. And we are successfully sponsoring 15 surgeries to the Iraqi Yatim and the needy. Mm -hmm. So Alhamdulillah, we look forward to expand our reach across Hopefully Iraq because can. Iraq is the most neglected country in the world. Mm -hmm. The victims of war are the children. What are they yes. being punished for? 80% yeah. of the children have congenital heart defects oh. and there are no, not many good doctors, surgeons in Iraq. Mm -hmm. So my father has been doing this. We get patients across to India and we sponsor free surgeries and get them uh, operated at subsidized mm -hmm. cost. So I'm happy to know that we've completed seven surgeries so far Hopefully and we have another that. seven to eight patients who are going to fly down to Bangalore and our organization, who is Hussein, is going to fund the operation and my father is going to amazing. provide with the hospitality on the ground. Hopefully, this is amazing. what we've been doing. That's amazing. I would like to thank you both uh, for joining us tonight. Thank you. Uh, and pleasant uh, presence of Hussein TV. Thank you very thank much, you so respected much. viewers, uh, for tuning in. Hopefully, we can learn how to serve Ahl Bayt salam through our own creative ways. Uh, whatever we think uh, that helps Ahl Bayt salam, they don't really need our help. We need their help. So let us call for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the help of Ahlul Bayt to continue serving them in any yes. way possible. Thank you very much once again. Wassalamu alaikum. Thank you. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wassalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.